commentary YouTubers have no idea what it is to work a normal job, let alone put on a whole event, okay? You have no clue. You I've been seeing the situation go down for the past few days, and admittedly I wasn't really gonna make a video talking about it, mainly because I just thought it was dumb from what little, like, clips and videos that I saw about it. But then the more that I saw more videos come out about it afterwards, and Anissa saying some more stupid shit, like how she, this was all bait, you know, this was all planned out for people to make commentary videos about, like, what happened uh, during Anissa's live stream that she had recently a few days ago. And she basically just talks about Bo Blacks' video on the Creator Clash 2 situation that happened. That's not really what I'm here to talk about. If you want to know more about the whole Creator Clash 2 situation, Bo Blacks has that video, so go check it out. It's very informative. But I'm here to specifically talk about the stuff that she had to say about commentary channels and the commentary community about how they see a clip of her saying something specific and then they talk about it and then they make videos about it and then they say something specific towards her and then some comments that people make towards her. I just thought it was very weird. Like she talks about how certain commentary channels have never worked a normal job before in, her, in their lives. Commentary YouTubers have no idea what it is to work a normal job. And how she knows that they've never worked a normal job before in their life and how she met someone who made commentary videos and then made them cry. You fuckers that are looking at this right now, I know. I know that you would fucking cry if I said something to you in real life. I know you would cry. How do I know? Because I've done it to one of you fuckers in real life and you have cried. <laughs> Which I don't entirely know how true this is, but to the person who did experience this from her and actually and actually did cry after she said some very mean stuff towards you, you should totally make a series called Surviving Anissa Jomha, like fucking R. Kelly style. Like how she said this towards you and how this affected you emotionally and physically and how she said this and that and the other and it made you so upset because how mean and rude it was and all that stuff. I just, I think it would be really funny, admittedly. I just think it's very strange how she has such a huge problem with this. Because when you put your thoughts and opinions out there on the internet, people are innately and instinctively going to want to talk about it. When you have such a huge personality as your fucking husband, you're immediately going to be put into a certain spotlight that you may not have thought that you were going to be in before. That's just what's going to happen. They're going to hear what you're going to say, they're going to see what you're going to do, and they're going to dissect it, and they're going to have their own opinions about it, and they're going to want to talk about it. Which is exactly what's been going on with people who have been making these commentary channels towards you. That's what's been going on even recently because of some of the stupid shit that you had to say on your live stream. Some of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard someone had to say. And it really just comes off as her just having such a huge problem with people making any sort of comment with her and you have to wonder why is she even on the internet why didn't she quit like she said she was going to before she made OnlyFans it got to the point where I, I was like miserable streaming I was I was really I was spending a lot of time debating quitting and Ian was like well maybe like there's something else you want to do like maybe there's like another avenue online where you can like make money and be happy and and um you know still still do this but without streaming anymore and i quit i quit streaming basically and i started doing uh only fans what what the fuck? she was so bothered by all of these comments being made towards her whether it be comments on her instagram or twitter or people making videos about her in the commentary community that she was driven down the path of feeling that the only thing that she had to do was making OnlyFans and then show her fucking asshole on online for people to see. And that's just so weird. And then, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, after this whole like live stream went out and she deleted it, by the way, uh, people started making videos about it. And then her instinctive idea to say about this was, oh no, I was baiting commentary channels 
to make videos about this. I was so bothered by people making videos about me, but I still wanted to bait them into making videos about me because that's how predictable they are. That's how in instinctive and, and leech and, and, and how they just leech onto something to make content for. You know, it's interesting because when I did the rant that like got clipped and shared by like a bunch of people, I did that intentionally to be like ranty and interesting and eye catching and like, like f I did it with the intention of like getting it shared. Um, and it's interesting how like, um, how predictable that is, I guess. Uh, and it's cool. It makes you feel like, oh, okay. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> it's so fucking weird how this is her defense after all this happened that she was baiting commentary channels to do this you're so bothered when people make videos about you but then you uh, apparently aren't baiting people to make videos about you like at this point just why are you saying so much dumbass shit right if you just stopped lying about how this bothers you so much if you just stop saying so much dumb shit People would stop hating you nearly as much. If you just ignored all the bullshit being said towards you. If you just stopped watching every single video that was made towards you. If you just didn't pay any sound of mind whatsoever. Not only would your mental health be a lot better. But you wouldn't be saying nearly as much dumbass shit as you would be saying. And people wouldn't nearly as hate you as much. If you just didn't pay it so much attention to it. It wouldn't be such a big issue for you, but instead, you feel the need to watch every single video made about you. You feel the need to read every single comment that's ever been made about you. And you make it such a big thing in your mind that it literally drives you so fucking insane that you eventually have a breakdown on your fucking live stream and you feel the need to have to talk about it. And then you feel the need to talk about it even further. If it bothers you so much, why are you still talking about it? Stop talking about it, and then maybe people will finally ignore you for once. I don't know, just fucking something at least. Just stop talking about it, dude. Just calm the fuck down. Go continue to keep seeking therapy. And then just, just do your own thing. And just, just stop, stop paying so much attention to it. And then just ignore all the bullshit. And then people would not nearly hate you as much as they do now. I'm not saying that I hate you. Honestly, I could give less of a fuck about who you are or who you married to. I can give less of a fuck about whether or not you do OnlyFans or not. None of that shit fucking matters to me. I might have made some tweets before in the past and said some sh shit before about how I was so bothered by it. But nowadays, I just can't be bothered by it anymore, right? Because I've moved on. I've grown. I've matured, right? I realized that her having that OnlyFans wasn't really that big of a deal. Because realistically, it actually kind of wasn't. And people didn't really need to be that bothered by it. People just found it surprising that I dubs of all people, the, the content cop, the guy who made such like vicious videos towards other creators for the stuff that they did in their videos and their content and on their social media was married to this type of person who behaves in such a way. People are just, they were just so surprised by that and they, they didn't know why that this was the type of person that they wanted to be associated with and continues to be associated with. I think all this is just kind of bizarre and strange. I'm not really sure why she just continues to keep talking about this and keep insulting people when all this is gonna do is just make people more upset at her, which is clearly the exact opposite thing that she wants, but she's just gonna get, go ahead and continue to keep doing it anyways. So. I don't know, maybe like I said in my last video, maybe the joke is on me, right? Maybe I don't really know what it is that I'm talking about. Maybe I'm the idiot, but whatever, I guess. That's really all I have to say about the situation. The more videos that I saw about her talking about all this stuff and commentary channels, it was just so dumb, right? It was just so idiotic and stupid. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, I guess. Uh, if you do want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another new video. Uh, I'm going to go uh, play more Zelda. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.